Hello, so today I'm going to be talking about why you should get your CNA license. I actually just achieved my own about a month or so ago and it has been a very rewarding experience. So everyone in this class has grandparents and that's very important because a lot of the CNAs are found in the geriatric portion of the healthcare field and you kind of have to go into the mindset of, hey, this is how I want my grandparents to be treated. So I'm going to treat these elderly people the way that I want my grandparents to get care. So basically what a CNA does is give their daily needs like mobility, bathing, grooming, feeding, things like that. Um, you kind of sort your day with getting them ready, just like you would get yourself ready or your grandparents would get themselves ready. Um, CNAs have been found to be more needed over time and the reason for that being is because a lot of people during the pandemic especially really just kind of stay away from the geriatric people because they were more susceptible to COVID than we may have been and so it was kind of really in the nursing homes because they were more susceptible to it and so a lot of people lost a lot of their CNAs during that time period. So also um, uh, I'm going to talk about how you get your CNA license. So basically, depending on the state that you're in, there's always a program that you can go through. And one of the main programs that I went through was through Ivy Tech in Evansville, Indiana, which may be different than here in Kentucky. But basically, through articles that I researched, there's normally a 6 to 12 week class and you kind of have to go through an entire book based off of your state's standards and you have to learn how to care for the residents how to make sure that they're happy one main thing that i learned through the whole thing was that that is their home and you're there to help them so you kind of have to go through that and then you have to pass a state exam that is given by a state proctor and which is pretty tough, but as long as you are in it for the right reasons, which is to help the residents, um, it's kind of really just an easy, easy way to look at it. Um, so you take your exam, you pass your exam, you become a CNA. Well, you also have to go through clinical hours before you're actually considered a CNA. And that's basically about 75 hours for every state around that number. Um, you start off as a nurse aide in training and you have to complete your 75 hours of clinical time to be able to consider a CNA. And that's kind of when you build your bond, you kind of figure out how to do it in person, even though you've been told on paper kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so in conclusion, I think that CNAs are very much needed around the world. And they are very much needed in these people's lives because you can never have too many. These people need help. They need care. That's why nursing homes are open. Because these people have nowhere else to be. They may have no more family. Or they just don't have family that wants to take care of them. So yes, it is a very special opportunity. And I really love my job. But yeah, thank you.